In this video, I'm going to be giving beginner's guide for Power BI data analysis and I'll just be touching concepts that is often overlooked but you need to actually pay attention to. A brief about myself. All right. From the recent Microsoft Fabric event, we, you know, as we all know before, that the world is awash with data, meaning data everywhere. And so the news is no longer do we have data or not, but rather how can we translate data into competitive advantage? And that's exactly where data analysis, you know, sits. And what I want you to pick out from this is as a Power BI data analyst, that enthusiast or junior or someone who's just interested in it, you should know that you are there to bring value from this data that is already everywhere and make your organization more competitive by leveraging the data that they have. You know, bringing value to the business through data. That is the work of a data analyst. And Power BI is that visualization tool, you know, that enables you to bring that value out of data, to bring that insight out of data in such a way that you can drive business decision, right? Anatomy of a dashboard with Power BI. What are the things involved there? And I'm just going to quickly run through this. When you build a dashboard with Power BI, you can actually connect to data from different sources. And I'm going to share that with you. I will show you an example right, you know, on in this video. And you can share insight with anyone, easy to share. Seamless integration to several Microsoft 365 services. Extensibility of the model. You can extend this model, you know, by adding more visuals to it that are not there. You can buy, you know, from store. You can get some free from store. You can even build your own visualization card. What you see is what you get design experience. You know, just as you are clicking and dropping, as if you are working in PowerPoint, same way it is to leverage Power BI user interface to do your work. Data visualization, you have hundreds of data visualization cards and you can even bring your own as well to life. Native intelligence and AI capabilities are actually amazing. They are all in Power BI and I will share a link with you where you can see all these AI features in Power BI alongside too. Big data support, yes, big data is everywhere and some of them are in big data form um, and Power BI directly connects to them. Okay, right here is the look and feel of Power BI desktop and you can see many variations today if you are downloading the latest version that has the object view and the rest of that, but it's really cool and looks beautiful and easy to work with. So get this right, as a data analyst or someone who is interested in data analysis, your goal is to bring value to the business through data. And one of the tools you use to do that is Power BI. And I'll just talk to you how easy, seamless, you know, Power BI is to connect and do all these things. As you can see on this chart, here is Power BI view. And I also embedded the chart here that I built, you know, just to track statistic on relation, you know, that was had some, sometimes in Nigeria, did the sentiment analysis on them. And right there, you see, I can actually filter. It's a live, you know, Power BI report embedded into PowerPoint. And that is how easy it, it is to integrate Power BI to several other, you know, uh, Microsoft 365 tools and services. As you can see, everything right there is changing it because that is it. Okay. So, a number of this just to show you how really cool it is to you know work with these things. Um, right now I'm going to just move to this concept that I want to share with you in this message so that you understand this and you can take this concept concept anywhere while you are learning data analysis across different tools and domain. And that concept is ETL. Data analysts often don't think about this. Meanwhile, you need to think about this and you do it every time when you work. So as a data analyst, as you're trying to learn, get to know about these three things, extract, transform, and load. And that's what I'm going to demo to you just to show you how that thing truly works. Extract, transform, and load. When you extract data, you get it from sources. Could be online, could be on an Excel file, could be from a database. That process might be in seconds, but it's actually there. You have to extract from a source. Transform. Most of the time you transform because you want to clean, you want to remove some things, you want to... Yes. That is the point of class that transforming and you load, you get it now into that tool because why you are transforming is still not right there. Yeah, you know, and now that you are done with transforming, you load it, then it's in that tool and you can continue with your analysis. All right, let me show you a demo of this and then we, we're just going to wrap this up. To run this demo, I'll be using the IMDB 
movie rating data is a popular one and you see right here top 25 tv shows or top 250 tv shows and the rest so i'm just going to click right and copy the url from this site and open up my power bi which i have right here i'm going to close this and it's easy to get data into power bi that's why i'm just going to go here to get data and click on web i'm then going to paste the put the url there and click on ok from the web page, it has realized that, oh, I can find some tables here. Are they the tables you are interested in? Actually, this is it. This is the table. I'm, instead of me loading, I have extracted now. Instead of me loading, I'm just going to transform because I see some things I need to change here. So I'll click on transform data. And this takes me to the Power Query view of Power BI. And that's where I carry out my transformation. There are a couple of things you can do to transform your data. But right here, I can see that this column, I don't need it. So I can just remove column. That's part of the transformation. This other one, I don't need it as well. I can remove it. Okay. I need the rating. Um, do I actually need this first column? No, I don't need it. Then I can also remove it. However, there are some columns here. It's a single column, but rank and title. I need rank separately. I need title separately. So I can actually, while working on the by right clicking here, right clicking on this column, I can split it by just going to split column. I can choose a delimiter. What delimiter do I want to use? I'm going to use space. But my space is starting from the left. So the moment you come across one or the number and space, then you should split it. So it's starting from the left. Yeah, and you should split that into columns. Okay. So uh, what character should they use? This is fine. And I'm going to click on OK. So you see, one is already there, which is actually the rank. So I'm going to call this rank. And here is title. I also have some things to change here because I can see here. So I'm also going to do similar thing. Right click here, you know, split column, delimiter. And this time around, what am I using is bracket. You know, so I'm going to put the custom here. I need this, this open bracket. That's where it should start splitting from because that is where date is. And what you then do is from the leftmost, start from the leftmost. Uh, yep. And I'm going to click on this. So right here we have this. And since I've splitted them, um, this is title. And this is going to be here. And right here, I will replace the second bracket instead of, I'm just going to replace value with empty. I'm going to replace this with nothing. I'm going to click on OK. So it's done. So we've done some basic transformation and that is when I can then close and apply, which we now load this data and into my data set. That is the loading part of it. So as you go anywhere, whatever tool you use, Excel, Power BI, any visualization tool, know this fundamental concept. As you continue to grow in your career, you see some workload at the extraction part you know, connected to different data sources, you're going to see some workload at the extraction part where maybe your data needs to be transformed with huge, you know, pipelines and all those things. And at some point, loading, you know, but if you have this understanding, it's going to really help you. So right now I'm done. I can have them now and I can start working with it. Here is the rating. I can do rating by title. You know, I can turn it to this. We started building our visuals. I can go back again and do rating. And rather than just sum of rating, I'm going to do average rating and do same thing right here. Instead of just rating, I can turn this to average, average rating. And this average rating, I'm turning it to a data card. It's 8.6. You see, I have this here. I can bring even title of movies as a filter so that you can actually use this and select from it. Instead of vertical, I make it drop down that I can select from, and I'm going to bring this right here. Okay, so you see, but you can continue to copy, copy this, paste, drag here, do top and bottom, you know, and come over here and say, well, I need bottom, you know, want to filter now. Filter for what? Basically, top end, top what? 
top 10, top 10 rating. I'm going to drag the value here. I'm going to say top 10. I'm going to apply. It's going to filter this to only top 10. I can come back and put on the value label so that we can see what ratings we have there. And this other one, I can turn into uh, bottom 10. You know, so when I come back here, um, basic filtering top N instead of top, I said bottom, and I'm still going to drag the rating right here. And I put 10 here. And I'm going to click on apply. And now you can see there are more than that just because. The same score for, you know, that's the 8.4 is the lowest rating, you know, average rating. And that's the same score for most of these and the amount than 10 dollars I just put them there. But you can see we've done extra transform good right here. For more resources, I advise you go to this link here. Take this ak.msdax AI survey, then move next to visualize with Power BI, then Power BI AI. Thank you.